Welcome to WebXR Tools. To get started, click Login Register. Put in your name, pick a username, add your email, set your password, agree to the terms of service, and click Register. When you register, you'll be sent an email to verify your email address. If you already have an account, click Login and put your username and password and log into the dashboard. To get started, click Create New Project. Give that project the name. Select IXB for project type and click Create Project. When the Immersive Experience Builder loads, you'll notice three distinct sections. Left panel with the configuration, the center panel with our experience where we can drag around and look around, and then the right panel with different hotspots and interactive elements we can add. To get started, let's add a new scene. Click the plus icon in the left column. Give the scene a name. Set the resource type as image and click the folder icon. Here we'll drag in our 360 spherical render and we'll click select. We'll hit save changes. While this is uploading, it's generating the tiles so that you can upload an 8K render and it'll generate down to the 1K resolution so it works for all devices. Once the new scene is added, we can select it here in the left-hand menu. We can look around a little. Looks good. We'll go back and delete our default scene. Click the trash can icon, click OK. In our new scene, we'll add some interactivity with an image hotspot. We'll select image from the right column and then click in the center column to add our hotspot. Next, click the folder icon in the right column to open up the asset manager. Drag in the image. Then we'll give it a title and a description. Both the title and description sections are HTML enabled. We can add a call to action button that says learn more and then give it a URL so users can click through from the modal. We can even adjust the icon size. When we go into our preview, we can see what our modal looks like. Let's go back in edit mode. We'll go over to the project settings in the upper left corner and update our project thumbnail. This is the preview image that appears when we share the link to the experience. We'll also update our project description. This is the text that appears when we share the link on social media or via text message. This will be the first touch point for users, so we want to make sure we put something descriptive. And hit Save Changes. Now we're ready to save and publish. When we see the green check, that means the experience is live. Once the experience is live, we'll hit Start Experience. We can move around. Click our hotspot. Click our call to action and it links through. You just built your first immersive experience.